Hey, what is up? I'm here with Sky, and we're gonna make something really cool. So, yeah, you've got a little bit of a stomach issue. Just a little bit, like I don't have one, so <laughs> that's a so huge issue. So you have issue. to be careful with what you eat. Yeah, I do, but I still want to absorb things so that I don't have it. Like, so your stomach gets everything it needs, otherwise it doesn't go backwards then. Yeah, and that's why I wanted to show you these yogurts which you can do with macadamia nuts, walnuts, pecans, almonds, pine nuts. The coconut helps to balance out the acidity in the nuts. The coconut water and the blending and the probiotics helps to make it much more absorbable. You know, when you just eat nuts like this, there's no water and there's a lot of acids. So what we're doing is we're, we want the benefits of the nuts and the seeds without the, the direct high acid, low water content. Okay. Cause like a macadamia nut, interestingly enough, and many nuts on the tree are full of water, which helps with their absorption. Right. But then they, for the commercial purposes, everything is dehydrated yeah. so that they can go into the store then. So many times you do want to hydrate the nuts. Um, walnuts digest better. You can't, everything digests better after you've soaked them. We didn't soak these today because I didn't tell anyone to do that. And the thing that's a little bit different about macadamia nuts, interestingly, is that there's really nice oils in there that when you soak them, they kind of come out. So I want to keep the healthy oils today. Mm -hmm. If someone's very sensitive, then they want to definitely soak everything. Mm -hmm and get the minerals. It's really the minerals and the fats and the nuts and seeds, which mainly have a reproductive benefits. Mm -hmm. Also even the amino acids for muscle building, um, warmth in the winter time, etc. So what we're gonna do today is make a yogurt. So okay. what we're just gonna take this whole jar of macadamia nuts, and this will be for like six people today. We're gonna make a a yogurt first, okay, and then we'll make a, um, a smoothie out of that yogurt. So any yogurt can be made with coconut meat, coconut water, and then some sort of nut or seed. Okay. And that's how you, and you can make just plain old coconut yogurt. Do you have access to coconut meat? Yes. Okay. So you can do this all the time. Coconut almond yogurt is a classic. Have you ever had soaked almonds? Yes. Okay. So when you soak and sprout the almonds, uh, and then you take the coconut meat, uh, then you've got the coconut almond yogurt. Okay. It's pretty easy where it's, I'm going to give you the ultra easy version today. It's just coconut meat and macadamia nuts. This is more of an angel sauce. This is a really good one for everyone watching like macadamia nuts and coconut with the coconut water and then garlic, sea salt, and lemon. And that's the angel sauce. And it's the, it's pretty much everyone's favorite. And then when you have the angel sauce, which is these two ingredients here with some garlic, sea salt, and lemon. Yep. But then imagine you can add some rosemary, uh, or you can add rosemary and dill and make it into like a ranch. Right. The food, the ranch at the store sucks because it has all the crap in it and this has no dairy and no crap in it. So much, much better. So this is the basic recipe is just these three things here. Hopefully not too many chunks in there. Normally I strain it with a okay. fine strainer, but I think I don't have too many wood chips. So that right there is that is the, that is a yogurt. Wow. Uh, well, this is the final ingredient is the life biotic from probiotic, which is pretty much good for everything, but it's really good for culturizing these yogurts. Okay. So as soon as these probiotics hit the water, they come alive. You see, wow. they're already starting to, um, double triple. So what happens is, is with the probiotics, you just take like, we put probably 10 billion probiotics in there. They're so, gonna be like a hundred trillion in like 10 minutes. They just start to proliferate very rapidly and starts to pre-digest the fats and the carbs. Right. So the probiotics help starting a pre-digestion process. Right. 
Right. And that's what helps to make America great again. So that's what <laughs> and helps. like that, right? Yeah, it helps to, it's a pre-digestive. And that's why when you soak and sprout and, and then culturize with the probiotics, sure. it's already pre-digesting the carbs, the proteins, and the right. fats. And so it's way more easy to digest than just taking a pile of that stuff that we just had yeah, right. and eating it. As soon as we blend it with the probiotics, this process of breaking it down and pre-digesting it for you already begins. Today, since we're gonna make the smoothie, this is the ultimate berry antioxidant smoothie. I'm gonna add this Pyridine Natural and see, you can see this is all the amino acids. Wow. All nine essential amino acids. So the plant-based people, they're pulling a little aminos here, some aminos here, and they're making it work. They're like Frankensteining themselves. It's yeah. like, but let's just get all of the nine essential and all the other non-essential amino acids. Plus, so it's made out of pea. Show raw peas, mm -hmm. dehydrated, hemp protein, so mm -hmm. hemp seeds, dehydrated, goji berry, mm -hmm. which actually helps, like it's human growth hormone. It really, wow. it's one of the main plant-based ingredients that activates human growth hormone as a precursor. Protease, which is a protein splitting enzyme. So that mm -hmm. the protease enzyme is already in there. So you're gonna, as soon as you put this with water or lemon or anything, and you eat it, the protease is already there to help start breaking it down yeah. for you instantly. And then there's some um, more probiotics yeah. in here. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just gonna add a little bit, doesn't take much. There's, you know, I don't I hate to make it so complicated. It's really easy actually here if you just get a visual, but there is an infinite number of these yogurts and, that you can make. Uh, pine nut, is really good and pine nuts are really good for the reproductive organs so sure. um the hemp seed and yeah. coconut yogurt is a is a real classic inexpensive easy to get for everyone uh, we're already adding some hemp seeds but you can this is just super concentrated in the aminos is what it is and that way you, a scoop or two and it keeps you you know sure. active so that you can recover faster sure with your workouts and when you have amino acids in the body you want to work out people are protein deficient amino acid deficient and their body's like we're not going to work out we don't want to go to yoga because it doesn't it has the carbs but it doesn't have the aminos and so the body's saying you can't keep breaking us down every day if you're not going to provide the raw materials for the repair of those torn muscles and ligaments yeah. and bones and plus you need the aminos for your hair and your skin. Yeah. It's a little bit easier in your 30s, but as you get into your 40s and 50s, you're, it's a lot harder to eat the volume that you need. So you're trying to get more efficient with your concentration. So you can eat moderately of the most nutrient dense foods, meaning the macronutrients and the micronutrients. Mm -hmm. And then of course, the nanoscopic nutrients is the air and the sunlight and the positive thinking. So you're trying to, you know, maximize nutrient density and moderate caloric density mm. so you can be a much more efficient machine. So that's sure. why certain things like this can be super helpful. Definitely. Have you ever tried any protein powders? Never. Oh, sorry. I So I was 37 kilograms, which I think is like 75 pounds or something yeah. when I was really sick. So they basically had me living off protein shakes it made me sicker and sicker but they're hospital grade like yeah. you know like sugar and, sugar. and like they Dairy. made me really really sick and sugar but i wanted to say so i as you know have been raw vegan now for almost three years and for about the last year i've trained almost every day doing running and pilates and what i noticed is because i do really high fruit is i can keep going right but nothing is being built you could literally pick up my arms and you can see there would be no definition mm -hmm. And you actually said yesterday that when you started having amino acids, you felt completely different. Yeah, I overheard balanced. you saying. I was balanced and able to keep on a little bit more muscle. I'm not gonna, you know, you know, no one's gonna be blown away by my amount of muscle because I'm an ectomorph and I'm that, mm. putting on volume is not the key. But what I'm looking for, especially with my women friends, 
They want to be toned. Yes. That's Everybody it. wants to be toned. You know, you yeah. want to be like, you want to have, and you want them to work. And you want to feel yes. like you can go to yoga the next day after a lot of dogs and push-ups and, you know, you want to be able to make sure, and it's going to be the, the aminos that are going to give your body the permission to continue to build muscle. Yeah. And then you can start burning more fat, creating more muscle, and then that creates that definition and that mm -hmm. shape where then people say, hey, that person's really healthy. Yeah. Because you can be skinny fat. Yes. And not toned up. And so what do you do for your upper body workouts? So I don't at the moment. So I usually do Pilates five to six times a week. Plus I used to run, but since the shingles, I've just been doing walking. But I didn't want to push it yet because I'm just back doing With it. your immune system. Yeah, because it's right. only the six months out. So anything could push it back to shingles at this stage because the whole nerves are still on fire. So it's not good to do. I'm doing less than I used to, but something my body knows. Mm -hmm. But I found by adding more greens, more nuts, not in this form, but my hair is thicker, my skin is better, my workouts go more smoothly. Like I feel like I'm gaining something from it, but I still don't feel like I'm gaining enough. And you have to remember as well, not having a stomach duodenum and top of intestines, I definitely have absorption problems. So anything concentrated is better for me. So when someone says, oh, you'd be better with fruit than nuts, well, nuts are concentrated in a small volume. And when you don't have a volume, you want, you know, you really want condensed, but still you don't want to push it too much. You still want it light enough. So it's like finding that balance. Like everyone's trying to find the balance, but. The pre-digested aspect using the probiotics, that's why it's genius what yeah. Lou came up with a long time ago. Right. Using the probiotics to pre-digest everything. Now, does he have, he has his stomach, he has everything he needs, but he, what he's doing is maximizing his potential by making sure that everything is utilizable so that he keeps his vital force high right. while keeping the utilization of the vitamins and the minerals and the nutrients uh, simplified, like pre-digesting it for you so that mm -hmm. you can have more energy for cellular repair, for more muscle repair, yeah. for better immune system. Yeah. So what we're doing with living foods, because yes, we can go to the tree and get the good foods, but in this society, are we going to do well just on fruit? There are people that do do that. Um, but I think that with the hair, the skin, like you said, with the green juice, mm. the fats, mm. there's synergy between the fats and the carbs and the amino acids and the fatty acids. And you want to be able to find a way to balance all that out. Yeah. So that sure. you, cause you do look really good for since with, that's a lot of stuff to deal yeah. with. That's not yeah. that easy to deal with. No, you got. no. I feel like I've got myself, I feel like I, because I was telling you yesterday about how sensitive I was and the MCAS, so histamine, I get allergic to a lot of things. So going really light while healing is optimal for someone like me. But then as you, it's, it's you can't, I couldn't sustain it. Like unless I lived on a beach with fruit and I wasn't around anything to kind of aggravate me or, you know, any preservatives or anything, um, like, I mean, that works optimal, but that's not, you know, that's not life. So I've got to find ways to incorporate more foods, in different ways yeah. otherwise you know I'm just not going to be healthy yeah but you do look really good for your circumstances and then once you get more knowledge and understanding of how you can maximize your utilization mm. and then you know keep your lymphatic system really strong yeah because that's where the histamine reactions are going to come in it's just that they're not you know if, if you are overloaded in your lymphatic system and so with the Pilates and the running, you're gonna be doing a lot. Yoga might be really, really good, especially yeah. hot yoga, sweating. Yeah, that can sometimes tip me over. So I find like, I don't feel like my, so I have, I run, ran a couple of times while I was here. I haven't ran in ages. I feel like it pushes my lymph system where it needs, but then I also feel the kidneys start slowing down a bit because you can feel water retention, like when I, after I've run. Hmm. Um, but if I don't run, I feel sluggish and slow. And I think it's just with what I've been through. It's like my coffee. I, I, that's how I kind of think is it's kind of mm -hmm. pushing the adrenals a bit. 
but it's like I know that it probably contributed to me getting shingles pushing them too much so it is about finding that mm -hmm. perfect sweet spot right which is for me and yeah it's a, a lot of listening to feedback of the body but I feel like as I said I've got to this stage where the lighter foods have been good to kind of let my body settle but now it needs more. It's like people who cleanse, right? You can cleanse, but you can't keep cleansing. And I've just come off, as I said, the, the watermelon grapes, all the juices, and that's been like six months worth. I've got to do some building. Like mm -hmm. I, you just can't sustain stripping back all the time. How do you do in the gym? I haven't been to the gym. Do you, like Pilates, I do I mean, well in like- If I were you, I mean, I could suggest it to you, is just to go into the gym and go really, really light at first and work sure. your way up to moderate uh, with something I call stretch and flex where you're just pumping everything because if you just do the one dimensional running sure. you know that's good but you want like a little bit of everything and then you know some of this and so, some of this and some of this and just movement I try to get like a 360 degree movement of bending over, sure. going back. So I do all this at Pilates. You look like you're oh. doing Pilates. So I okay. do all of this. Yeah. I was actually talking to dad because dad goes to the gym and I said, I want to get there. But I'm all about still like each level and each step I need to take because I was literally rigid. I had a walking stick. So, and I've come so far, but I also know if I push, I usually get the histamine comes first and then I get really tired and then the shingles comes. It's like this pattern. So I've just come out of that and, um, so I'm just building where, like staying where I am. But I do, as I said, if I, if I, something comes to me and I feel I'm ready to do it, like I take a first step, which is that I will get there. I'm ready to do it. Especially with, I noticed I did so much better at Pilates, um, which I do really well in the class. Like I can do all of it. And then I know that there's a next level for me. Does that make sense? Like once you've mastered or you feel confident in your movements and stretches and you're pulling and it's resistance, so using your body weight, it's basically yoga moves, but you're using the weight of your body mm -hmm. to, you know, bend, stretch, yeah. pull, move. But I want, I do want more. So I'm getting ready. But to what get happens to that. is, is you push too hard, and you, you, your immune system. Yes. Yeah. You push, stir up too much. Yes. So you're kind of. Yes. You need to, and that's just the best way to do it. But yeah, yeah. just keep going. Yes, it's just because slow. Because you, like, you're building like your brain, you're yes. building your immune system, you're building your knowledge of how you're going to survive without a yeah. stomach, which for most of us, we can just go and yes. it works itself out, but you have to be way more on point. But this is just something that, just the concept mm. of the yogurts in general, um, this is the most easily digestible thing in the world. And this has, this doesn't have as much amino acids, but it has, it has some aminos. Um, it's got three grams of protein. This one has um, 21 grams. Yeah, so, right. but this is like a six month old can digest this. And this is very easily digested too. The nuts and seeds are not as easily digestible unless you turn them into a yogurt. I don't think I put any of this. So or speaking of yogurt, no. before, because I, I had my stomach removed when I was yeah. 25. Months leading up to it was, it was bleeding, but I had pain in my back, so I didn't feel this. So months leading up to this, I'd wake up in the middle of the night, and there's this, this yogurt, which was set in its, it, um, made from milk, but set in its tub. I would get up in my sleep every night and eat a whole tub of it, and then go back to bed. And I found since I've been on this, I haven't had any of these sort of um, fermented foods because I've been really scared. Because once I found that like getting away from anything that's been cultivated really helped me, um, I, oh. I stayed away. But in the certain, dairy, well, dairy, but also anything pro. I think I got really scared once you realise that like I felt good on just this, and anything I just stopped taking yeah. supplements. Anything was aggravating the histamines. And to get fermented foods in, like I tried to put like apple cider vinegar, which helps down here, but sets off histamine. So I think this will be perfect for me, like to help with the digestion because it's not going to set anything off. And especially the coconut yogurt, that's the easiest. Yeah. But you have you'll you'll have to try this today. Sure. And see how it goes, but it's definitely your lymphatic system. Sure. It's going to need. 
do you get massages? Yes. Okay. Like every week. Okay. Good. Yeah. So you're All moving along. That. You're doing it. Yeah. You're going you're just it's slowly improving because yeah. you were on your deathbed. Yes. Yeah, so so you, I'm happy with where I am. Someone who was on their deathbed. Yeah. You're, you're doing it right, you yeah. know, because the simple foods are the best, but after a while, if we've done this for a long time, we see, hey, I'm a fruitarian, and you're like, but there's no muscle there, yes. and there's no anything, you know, and I'm not putting down the fruitarians or anything, but I didn't want to be like a skinny, Yeah. you know, I like the libido, I like to have a little muscle, I like to be a little bit like warrior, I want to fight, you know, I yeah. don't want to be so fruited out all the time, Yeah. you know, fruit is a huge part of my diet, but I love the aminos and the fatty acids, and so I just found a good balance and then I go intuitively. Yeah. I like fruit juices, green juices, fatty acids, amino acids, smoothies, some supplementation, enzymes, just really always working it, just doing everything I can to keep this thing as an inferno. Yeah. And so you've got to learn how to get the foods that are super easy to digest yes. and find ways like juicing and yes. like culturing. These aren't these are just we call it more of a culturization so sure. it kind of pre-digests it so let's see what happens sure. with this milk is what this is going to be because i put all the rest of it in sure. cool. so that is wow do you want to try it yeah, sure yeah, okay and then we're going to make a smoothie here Thanks everyone, we're just like, like a consultation because I really yes. didn't pick up too much. That is really good. Now you have to find out like, so what I'll do is what I'm gonna do is like, I'll leave a little of this for you to test sure. for a day or two. I'll, I'll leave you some of this and then we'll make the rest of this into like a smoothie. And then with that, that'll, that really, you know, brings it out even more with the fruit so then you're just getting the aminos, you're getting the fatty acids, you're getting the, the minerals from the nuts, the power from the nuts, the consciousness. That way you don't have to just, just be on fruit, which is like real ascending and really light, which is like, I think fruit is the best food, but down here on planet earth, we, we've had the, I've taken 25 years, 24, to learn how to be, oh, let's keep it in the balance. Like I wanna have energy, but not too much energy and I want to have a, some muscle, but I don't want to be like so bulky that I can't put my pants on. Mm -hmm. So it's just really finding this sweet spot where you're bringing in the fruit, the green juice, the yogurts, the salads, especially when it pertains to the raw vegan lifestyle, yeah. you know, and then just anyone can use this information to, um, to just, you know, it's basically like trying, in your case, there's like, you have to be, old Joe Blow, he can have a piece of pizza or whatever, or mm. they can do whatever they want to do. But it, what we're trying to do here, kind of the mission is now just to be like, hey everyone, eat real food if you can. Because that's mm. the thing, it's like, that's where all the different factions of the nutritional world, like this one works, this one works. What's the common denominator is like they take out all the death, swaggy, mm. like processed garbage, which, is about 65 to 70% of the food supply. It's just swaggy garbage with colorants, additives, pesticides, preservatives, and rotten seed oils and you know, you name it. But as soon as you go, cause we just took fresh macadamia nuts from the island, fresh coconut from the island, fresh coconut water. And then these are ultra pure from Puridine because they test everything and they do it meticulously and they don't let anything come or into that facility or leave that facility without being perfectly tested and passing every test. Because if there is any sign of anything, heavy metals or pesticides, then it's, it doesn't come in. Mm. And then they test it again. Now, obviously most of the time going out, you know, they catch most of it coming in and they won't even receive the, the bulk. So everything is very pure. That's another good thing. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, at least, you know, you know that it's a pure source of wholesomeness. Mm -hmm. Whereas with a lot of stuff, restaurants and other things, there's a few other places that I wouldn't want to eat their stuff. So I'll set you up with a jar here. 
Can I ask, does the probiotics build over the days? Is it better like each day? Or is it the same now as in the three days? Actually, no. It, it Right now, those probiotics are now already starting to sure. proliferate and they're already starting to kind of pre-digest the fats, the carbs, and the proteins. Sure. And so it gets better and better. Right. Then, depending on the recipe, if you take just coconut yogurt, I've had it for up to three months. Wow. And it turns into cheese. Wow. But if you add nuts, the thing is the coconut is very rare. It never goes bad. Huh. A year later, you f pick up a coconut off the ground. There's a special preservative that's a natural one in the coconut oil that keeps its antibacterial. Wow. And so that kind of be why the oil pulling is good yeah. for your teeth with the coconut oil. And coconut oil takes a long time to spoil because the coconut will sit there for a year and it, you can drink it and you can eat the meat. Wow, amazing. But if you add the nuts and seeds, you only have this window of about three or four days and usually the first day or two. Like this is best eaten within a day or two, maybe the third day, but with the nuts, they don't have the same thing as the coconuts, so it can go rancid and go bad. Right. But right now it's already and it's warm enough to where those probiotics are already starting to culture, sure. already starting to proliferate. So I'll leave you a nice little stash of this. And you can make um I will make it. a lot <laughs> of different um all kinds of dressings and stuff. Yeah. And you can put it on fruit. Like we could theoretically take that yogurt right now and we could either make a salad dressing out of it, mm -hmm. we could add garlic and lemon and sea salt and dill sure. um you know and you could just pour it over your romaine or dip your vegetables in it you could dip your veggies in it now that's a great and it's going to be sweeter if you add the savory garlic the lemon and the salt you're going to make it more savory and give it that more of an earthier grounding kind of a flavor um you could also just pour this on your blueberries or put your blueberries in it or dip your strawberries in it or add some cacao and make it into a chocolate sure. smoothie. You could eat it just the way that it is. So what's amazing about these yogurts, which you can use all the different nuts we've talked about. Yep. Um, like coconut pine nut yogurt is amazing. Then add some basil and then add some lemon and some garlic and you have like a pesto. That's a cultured pesto with the probiotics. So it's just a, and it does, it did take me a while. I had to hang out with Lou several times. I didn't get it the first couple times. And then the more I hung out with Lou, the more I practiced the recipes, that now this is just like, a, I can do this with my eyes closed, you know? Right. And I can do it with so many different things. Hemp seeds are mm -hmm. really easy to find. Pine nuts, macadamia nuts are amazing. The almonds are the classic, because the almonds are like the king. You know, but you soak the almonds, sure. you sprout them. You can pull the skins off if you want to go really gourmet yep. or leave the skins on. It's a little less gourmet, but has more fiber in it. Um, but either way, we'll leave this here. You can, you guys can play with this later. And for now, we'll just, um, we'll just make a big old smoothie for all of us here with the rest of this. Um, sure. So it makes sense for me to make, make basically everything I make out of this because it's pre, going to pre-digest my food. Especially if you have access to coconuts. Yeah, I do. Like I have three or four a day. <laughs> yeah, then you can take the meat Yeah. and you just get the little meat out of there yeah. and clean it up with this peeler. Yeah. Put it in there with the water and get the probiotics. You can get a little tiny, a small yeah. one. There's a smaller two ounce. Sure. And it'll last for three, four months. Because you wow. just need a tiny bit. Right. And now this will, we put this in the fridge now, yeah. this will be good for three or four days. Wow, well we can make my pad thai out of that. You could <laughs> add, you could put tomatoes yeah. in there, you can make a vegetable soup, you could do carrot, yeah. garlic, tomato, green peppers. It's like endless and what you're doing with the culturizing process with the, with the probiotics is you're making everything pre-digested. So you, instead of the fruitarians are like, if I eat nuts, I feel like shit. You're like, well, did you try soaking and sprouting them, maybe turning them into a milk? Because we want to utilize as many of God's raw yeah. and living foods as we can. 
100%. Because that helps diversify our personality. It helps us seasonally and it gives us variety so we don't get tired. Yeah. Um, and it gives us skills and it gives us something to give our kids or our parents, you know, because if you, if you make a dressing out of this with garlic and sea salt and yep. lemon and dill, anybody will eat it and you just put it there. They're, they don't know it's not ranch. They just make the veggie trays so you can make veggie dips. Everything. Yeah. So we'll try and see what we got here with this. Sure. I'll let you clean these. Sure. Just rip the green off. And the rest of this we'll just put. So we're going to do this is the ultimate antioxidant smoothie, which is um, obviously the yogurt. And then I'm just going to add blackberry, raspberry, blueberry and strawberry. The blueberry leaves. Blackberries. Ooh, big old fatties. Wow. Monster. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That is huge. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Yeah, I'll toss them in. Oh, Australian. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Running out of space here. We are. Yeah. So what we'll do is, um, got some coconut water here. All right, so that's pretty beautiful. Whoa. It is a stunning a color got plopped. Okay, we're going to do some alchemy here. So we'll take this and we're going to have way too much smoothie. Just like we know, had way too it? much. It's gorgeous. We had way too much juice. <laughs> you can't have too much juice. True. And you can't have too much smoothie. We put the, oops. Do you want these in too? Yes. Oh, set this bit here. It doesn't need to go in. And then of course, the bananas too. Sure. These bananas are incredible. They actually yeah. taste like ice cream. These are Thai bananas. Oh, they're good. This is amazing. The fruit here is amazing. It's incredible. Cool. And then. Now we've got, that's like the that's biggest smoothie, smoothie ever made in the history <laughs> that of the world. Is. But no, isn't that amazing? Like that it is the real deal. This is and how we smell. It smells so yeah. fresh. So fresh. Like a wizard. Now it's pink. Yeah. But that is the ultimate, ultimate smoothie. Wow. That's the best looking smoothie I've ever seen. It so is! Sorry to interrupt. No, it looks amazing. Okay, it's and then, like a I mean, does it, when you on. see all this, do you think this is something that you could digest well? I do, I feel like from what I've been doing, if I was still on high fruit and you gave me this, no, but I feel like I've been in training with like adding uh, the greens and the seeds and the nut milks already. Yeah. It's just I needed something extra. How have you been feeling with those? I feel good, but my digestive system every now and then starts to clog. Like it, so I've been doing mm. mostly green juice all day. And this is coming off the back of to have a lot of like sweet fruits. Then I'd have one meal a day, but it was still struggling. And I think that this might be This is something. almost like a juice. Yeah. With some amino acids and fatty acids. Yes. So let's try it. Cheers. I'm just trying to, to make sure Mm -hmm. oh my it might gosh. be really good cold. <laughs> if it's so cold, good. it would be good. Yeah. You want to try some? Sure, I'd love to have a few sure. Hell yeah. Mm, oh. This just looks so delicious. It is so good. I'll uh, make a couple of jars and leave it for you guys. Yeah. And, you know, make sure AJ and 
Kevin gets some. Thank you. That mm. looks so oh, good. Yeah. Oh, my Do you know what, how this would be really nice as well? Mm. If it was frozen mm -hmm. and you blended it and made like a, a frogut or whatever, I don't know what you guys call it. <laughs> I'm making really that up. Mm -hmm. Isn't you could freeze this and then put it through the green star and make ice cream. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Which yes. I don't really do very much of, not really ever, but you know, I, I mean, you know. Okay. This is so good. I can do a lot of stuff, but yeah, that was. Yeah. That video was very unplanned. I'm so grateful for it. Yeah. Like, I just learned so much. I feel like being on this journey is once you open yourself to it, it kind of, you can find ways through where you learn more and you build. And I can only imagine in 25 years what you've learned. You said 25 years, right? Yeah, and I'm only three. But like to learn more and more and you just, you can help your body so much. Like, so nobody knows. Like how do people, they, they, like they might hear probiotic, but it's caught up with preservatives and um, bad food they're eating. They have no idea that you can feel like probiotic potato chips nowadays and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which, you know, the but is getting the buzzwords out there, I don't think we can go wrong. Let's just True. think more mm -hmm. and people just dig more and find more and keep mm. seeking more truth. True. And keep practicing. You need 10 lifetimes and then you need one life as a carnivore, one as a raw vegan, mm -hmm. one as a breatharian, one as a liquidarian. And then you can come back and write a book and tell us what you think. Yeah. <laughs> Until then we all we're just we're all on our own little science experiment and then we say, Well this kind of works and then here's some philosophy mm -hmm. and I definitely feel like when you do these yogurts and stuff, those nuts and seeds are way because I when I first started raw I ate so many nuts and seeds, I was like, Why do I always feel like shit? Yeah, you know, right. because I would just take mm -hmm. a bag of almonds. Mm -hmm. This was before I knew there was any uh, raw fooders on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. I thought I was the only one. For like two years and then I went to, <laughs> yeah I thought I was the only one I read a book and I'm like I'm gonna do this yeah and the only thing I had was in the book I mean I would did a lot of weird stuff and ate the same salad for years mm -hmm. Wow and I would make the same sunflower burger over and over just sunflowers carrot celery blended up in a you wow. know and I just would make the same little nut pate mm -hmm. and the same salad for years and then I went to a David Wolf retreat. I, I found this book in Whole Foods and I went to a David Wolf retreat. And that's, and then it totally, I was like, oh my God, there's other weirdos, you know, like yeah. me. Mm. And then I started to find out, of course, you know, then I went to more into the gourmet and that might not have been the best thing. Mm -hmm. But in the end, it turned out to be because I've learned to take maybe some more of the gourmet stuff that I learned and make it more digestible, get the food combining better, mm -hmm. and then be able to help, you know, make things for people that maybe aren't even into the whole, any kind of thing, mm -hmm. but make it good enough for them to get involved. And then I prepared tens of thousands of meals for the people on this island mm -hmm. at my church wow. where there would be like, 50 to 100 people every weekend for several years where I would make like half raw and half cooked vegan wow. and there would be like a farm table like that but only like a, the whole length of this whole room there was a farm table and uh -huh. we would fill it from top to end uh -huh. I would make crackers all week wow and then I would make I would make like one big cooked dish to fill everybody mm -hmm. like a quinoa mm. or rice and vegetables mm. and um, that, so I just learned how to make really good food that has a high vibe that's not poisoned even if it was the cooked vegan and it was always vegan everybody was cool with it yeah They're, they weren't all vegans or anything like that but they yeah. were they were like cool they, they knew it they got yeah. it well they go I'll, I'll go home and have some fish but for now they could really dig the food yeah and so feeding people is the greatest joy and knowing good wholesome food and how not to fry it to death in the mm. pan and how like you add the olive oil at the end mm. so that it's not oxidized and it's like fresh mm. and you can taste the fresh yeah. oils and you keep the fats intact mm. and everything's prepared in a way of like as preserving as much of the you know 
uh, qualities of the food, even if it's going to be cooked. Even you know? the life force, right? It's like you want it to taste good and, and present good, but you still want that life force. Mm -hmm. When you have it, you don't want to be having it like charcoaled out. And if yeah. you um, yeah. just lightly cook the vegetables, it, they still have, you know, bio mm -hmm. photons. Sure. It's just that maybe like, that's why when you make cooked food, you want to eat it right there. Mm -hmm. And the leftovers tomorrow are, mm -hmm. that's where it's, you know, really going to be dead, dead. Uh -huh. Because the cooked food actually does hold on to some of its life energy. You know, as raw food dudes and, and ladies, you know, we're like, oh, you know. But for the for the normies, mm -hmm. you, you know, the vegetables still hold some charge, you know. Mm -hmm. But then after they've cooled down and you put them in the fridge, that's when the biophotons diminish completely you know yeah so I don't give anyone a hard time I'm just I like my thing and yeah I want to continue to just I mean I God put me here I'm trying to accept it because really I'd like to go just go be a nobody mm -hmm. but I am kind of good at this and I you know I need to just accept the neutrality of it mm. the good and the bad of social media the fact that I'm like I don't really want to be anybody at first you do Mm -hmm. You want to be somebody on social media. Mm -hmm. Then you're like, I just want to be a nobody because mm -hmm. I don't, I want to have peace. Mm -hmm. Then you're like, okay, I can do this and help. And I won't take any of it personally because I know I don't have all the answers. I have nothing to prove. This isn't the one right way for all people and all you other losers can go to hell. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't do that. And neither does this group. Yeah. That's what I like about you guys and yeah. your vibe. We don't even talk about food unless we're making videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so it's been really good. 4444. Four, four, four. Yeah. It's been uh, really cool to, um, to to meet you, Jillian and Sky and yeah. Kevin and AJ. And, you know, because I haven't been out of my little turtle shell in like a year. Wow. I've just, well, I've been, went through a thing and I'm still going through it, but. Dark night of the soul, dark year of the soul. Yeah. Just like having to look at myself because I just wasn't. You yeah. think you're so spiritual, but until you absolutely have to look at yourself. Yeah. Because you have no more choice. Yeah. yeah. Which is what it was. And I, I was just distracting, distracting, distracting. And I thought I was trying to be aware and mm -hmm. trying to be present. But until that really deep, dark stuff is forced to the surface, yeah. when you're laying in bed and you just cannot, there's no more distractions that work anymore. Yeah, but are you grateful for that? Hell yeah. Yeah. I've ma it's made me a better person. I'm more compassionate. Mm -hmm. I, the ego is way more diminished. Yeah. You know, and so I'm less reactive. I understand. If you hate me, that's fine. I'm just gotta keep doing my best yeah you know because when we when we're on social media we're comparing to everyone else and you're like I'm ugly you know, yeah. and all the yeah. lighting and stuff but if you compare yourself to yourself you're like whoa yeah. mm -hmm. I'm the best person that's ever lived compared to that guy back then with the women and the drugs and the everything else the sadness yeah you know so it's definitely improved and the food was just one small part of it Mm -hmm. yeah. We make it into the religion, but mm -hmm. the food is like a support. It's like sleep. Yeah. It's like exercise. It's like, you know, the, you know, do the runners get pissed off at the weightlifters? I mean, you know, so <laughs> yeah. that's how it's like, what's your preference? Well, I like eggs and meat. Cool. I like yeah. smoothies and, yeah. you know, and so, well, let's fight about it. You know, it's just <laughs> yeah. like, it doesn't, it's just that after all this time, you know, I've just found out this is just how I feel the best. It's just these really... Um, I like to maximize digestion and utilization. Yeah. And so that's the same thing. And you, you like have to. Yes. That's like, yes. I just get to feel better and stay more in the game a little longer because mm -hmm. of that. And you like have to live that lifestyle now for yeah. the rest of your life. So you have right. a great, a lot to learn to keep yourself healthy as you go. Because you just got, got well. Yeah. You're, you're just starting on mastering that's right. This path with what, and we all have the limitations of one or another, one kind or another. I'm kind of appreciating the limitations. I think what I was missing in my life 
was experiencing the joy of each step I've taken, like from where I've come from to where I am now is, you know, people might see me and think, you know, it's normal to travel overseas, it's normal to exercise, but the joy and the strength and how proud I am of every step I've taken, whether it's, you know, the first one of cutting out alcohol, and um, stopping medications, going to raw food, each one was massive in my world. And like to culminate that into who's standing here now, and like you get shingles and then you got a juice and, and like these are all my, what I, I go through, but I feel like that is the strength I needed in my life, which before is like quick fixes, right? You're like sick, right, bandage, or um, and it's supposed to be fixed, or they give you a pill, it's supposed to be fixed, or you're crying as a child and there's a television and it's gotta be fixed. So your brain's trained that yeah. way that there's always a quick fix. But what if the secret to life was actually experiencing the joy from taking each step on our journey? Like my journey is mine, I'm not saying that everybody's, is the same steps, but you know, for someone it can be easy to stop eating pizza. For another person it can be like, you know, dark night of the soul. Like, how do I get through this? And you have to value that to put it towards like it's like wearing like badges of honor, right? Like I think everything I've done since finding my journey is being like these medals of honor. And it's only me who experiences that. So I think it's important everybody like listens to what you know they need and, and feel every step along the way to end up much healthier yeah much healthier oh so much healthier like and your mind is healthy too yeah. when you work for things you know the value of them like mm -hmm. there's a great value in yourself like if you invest in yourself like cutting out the pizza is an investment in yourself it's not a, like a negative everybody thinks that these things I'm like losing eating sushi or I'm losing going out on Saturday nights or I'm losing it's like no, but the next morning you're much fresher. The next Monday you're better at work. You feel better and then you want to take the next step, which might be like, okay, Saturday afternoons I'm going to play tennis now. And that might be a big thing. And you build this whole new life, not from lack, but from seeing, you know, what's yeah. positive, what you gain from looking after yourself. Yeah. You have a very healthy brain. I can see it in your eyes, so that's very good. You're very fortunate. It wasn't always healthy. Yeah. But it is now, so cool. I am blessed. Well, I hope we helped some people today with some yes. ideas. I'm very grateful. Thank you. This we is amazing. We should probably go and play and burn off some of these calories. Because yes. we've been drinking juice and drinking <laughs> smoothies. And yogurts. Mm. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Sky. Thank you so much. My this pleasure. is a pleasure. So oh, thank okay. you. Thank You're you. Welcome. Aloha.